So this video is about calculating the average value in a certain domain. So I'm going to look at case study two. I'm going to look at temperature in the skin part. So there's three ways to do this, and the first two ways is before you actually run it, and if you skip towards the end of this video after I've solved the model, I'll show you how to do it at, with the solution. This is if you want to do it beforehand. And so we're calculating the average value, and so this is what we're looking at. We're looking at t average. We're going to integrate t over one domain and divide it by that domain and get the average value. And one way I can check to make sure I'm doing everything correctly is by looking at the integral of this bottom cylinder, which is just pi r squared times height. Okay? So the first two ways is before actually solving the model. So it's already there when I'm all done. So I'm going to right click on definitions, go to model coupling, and I'm going to add integration. And I'm going to left click and right click on this domain and get it. Right now my console is being a little weird. So I'm going to go to selection and select all domains. And I'm going to get rid of that domain too. So my in top one is just going to integrate on this domain. And make sure you click this compute integral in revolved geometry. And I'm going to come back up here and do model couplings and do average also. So I'm going to click that, all domains, and get rid of the top. Okay. So I have an integral average doing this domain. And I have that checked. And I have an integral on this domain, integral checked. And so what we're doing is this average function is doing all of this in one step. This integral is just going to do one of these operations. So what I'm going to come up here and do is right click on global definitions, select variables, and I'm going to define average t. I'm going to call it mod1. Dot. This mod1 comes from model1. And I'm going to use the function avop1. I'm going to do t. And so that's one that's going to do the average temperature all in one step. Or if I'm going to be a little more slow and old school, I'm going to do int v mod one dot in top one one. So what this is going to do is calculate that dv of this domain. Int t. I'm going to copy that, paste it down. T. And then I'm going to divide these two int t over int v, oops, I don't want that, average int t, and we're going to do int t over int v. Okay, so what I just did is, let me bring this over here, move that, okay, this int t over int v is int t divided by int v. So that's a slow way of doing it, it takes three different variables, or I can do average t, which does it all. So these are the first two methods to actually calculate the average temperature beforehand. And so I'm going to come down here, do is right click and select compute. And when I'm done, I'm going to get the average integral, the average temperature for that domain from in my solution already and set up and done. So I'm just going to click compute, make sure everything's running okay. Okay, so it's running. So I'm going to come back in a second here. Okay, so my model has finished up here. And so I want to look at these two variables average t and average int to make sure they get the same thing to show that I calculate the average temperature in the skin using two different methods. So I'm going to right click on results, go to 1D plot group. I'm going to add a global plot. Why am I adding a global plot? Because I'm under global definitions. So I'm going to do average t and average int t. And if I do plot, I should get the same thing. Great. Okay. Now to make sure that was actually correct, I can look at the triple integral of that dv down here to make sure everything's okay. So I calculated that before. And I had a value of 1e negative 7. So one thing I can do is do a 1d plot group at a global plot. And I can look at that int v, plot it, and what do I see? 10, 1e negative 7. Great. Okay. So those two methods work great. Now we're going to do the third method. Now let's say you ran your model and you want to calculate average temperature now. What I'm going to go to do is derive values. I want to look at average. I'm going to do surface. This is because I'm already in 2D. So I'm going to click surface. And I just want domain 1. I want to look at temperature. Integration settings now. I need to do this compute volume integral. Okay. Click that. And then all you have to do is left click evaluate. Bam. And 
So I have this table of data right here. So I'm going to right click on my 1D plot group 3. I'm going to add a table graph. I'm going to plot table 1. And what I should see is that table 1 should overlap those other two. And it does. All three do. And just, I'll throw it on the legend there. So all three get the same result. All three work. And that's how you calculate the average value in a domain. Thank you.